We've got a very applicable question here okay. from, um, and Cole, by the way, said that works. Thank you. So thank you, Cole, for the question. John, I've worked with certain engineers that are convinced knee braces will not reduce the span of a tie beam. What is your take, Bert? Yes. John, thanks for the question, Cole. Nice to hear we got your question answered. So, yes, that's – so looking at it from an engineer's perspective – Okay, so I'm going to back up a little bit further, okay? So if you've, if you've been to the Timberline Lodge, they filmed the movie The Shining there. It's an old, iconic structure, incredible energy. I love the place. It was built in the 30s in the Depression. And it's just very robust, steep pitch, a lot of snow. It's taken a lot of wind. Now, that structure evaluated with today's engineering – Flunks. It's going to fall over according to what can be quantified on paper. All right. So that the reason I tell that story is if you were an engineer and someone asked you to quantify how the tie beam span can be reduced by engineering, it's a it's a lot of work. And from an engineer's perspective, why should they take on all this work, so work harder, to accept more risk? That's kind of where an engineer is coming from, and I get it. You know, just take the path of least resistance, show the calculations at work, and then their risk is mitigated, they have to work less. And engineers, when they go through their schooling, of course, hear the preaching of, don't over-engineer, don't over-engineer, don't over-engineer. But the only time the market gets that is when the costs get out of hand for the engineering. So things are going to go in that direction. So we're thinking about over-engineer until the market says, enough, we got to do something different. Too much rebar, too much this, too much that. And that's about the only thing that keeps engineering in check. And that I would be there too. I mean, it's, it's just a natural evolution until there's resistance. That's where it's going to be. So that's kind of a long answer to your question, John. It does, in my opinion, it does reduce the span. It, it puts more more thrust on posts. Okay, so here let me. So if you've got a tie beam or whatnot here. I'm just going to draw two different angles for your knee brace. And we've got a load here. We have had engineers just, and we have had engineers that have given us value for putting in knee braces. The knee braces typically will come at a real steep angle and sometimes even tie at a concrete so that we're not dealing with thrust in the middle of the post like this right here. So thrust in the middle of the post then, and then, then we're also talking about blowing apart here. So from, from the engineer's perspective, if he's gonna validate what this knee brace does, he's got a lot of work to make sure this joint is gonna hold together for it, as well as the post bending under load. So they're kind of a lot of, a lot of moving pieces and the best way to get an engineer to cut that down is to reduce the thrust just like this here with that steep roof like that steep roof in the truss analogy so i hope that helps uh, go ahead and uh, let me know if it's clear as mud or if you need more answers 